So, we finally discovered one of the laws that governs this island and it's your boy. The law of equivalent exchange. Yeah, I know I made an FMA reference but that's because in a lot of ways, it should explain the concept fast enough for everyone to catch up. If you've never heard of Full Metal Alchemist before, then the explanation is pretty much almost the same as Raj here puts it. You gotta give something to get something, otherwise bad things happen. In Sunny Boy's case, it goes up in flames and yeah, that's pretty much it. Blue flames and you're done for. Other than this discovery, there are also a few things I've taken note of as well. First off is Mizuho's past which is interwoven with the current story and as a bit confusing as it is, all I'm sure about is that she probably had an intimate relationship with this professor. Probably not sexual but definitely romantic in some respect. And suffice to say this professor probably got fired due to his involvement by association with the slander work that Mizu had done to this other girl. The other thing that I took note of is well this kid really looks like a bitch. The kind that you want to beat the F out of because his face is literally asking for it. I mean, clearly, he's going to be one of the antagonists here, seeing as there's obviously so much more to what he just says whenever he talks, and his punchable face isn't helping him clear off any suspicion regarding his motives. Anyway, another law of this island is that you can't destroy it by the looks of it and the reveal of Nozomi's power, which basically makes her a plot device, that should be enough assurance for us, the audience, that she cannot be killed here if it comes to that. Because if they do that, then their probably only way out of here is gone. So yeah, with that said, that's pretty much it for this episode of Sunny Boy. I thank you all for watching and see you guys next week.